two uh, of asset one and asset two in the mix. Okay, uh, and actually, I've actually calculated this already. Okay, so the the value in here is going to be equal to. Let's just actually do the first one. Okay, you probably see my calculator. It's going to be it's W one times the expected return of asset one. So it's equal to one times three plus zero times five. Okay, so that's once times three plus zero times five, which is as expected we should get, we should get 3%, okay? So when we have 100% of asset one in the mix, okay, and 0% of asset two, the return should be what we get from asset, from, 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 from uh, asset one, what we expect to get from asset one. And similarly down here, you can actually see that when we have 100% of asset two in the mix and 0% of asset one, we're actually going to get a return of what asset two is expected to return, which is five percent. Okay, and uh, moving along, then we have zero point nine, zero point nine times three, so it's zero point nine, okay, times the expected return of asset one, which is times three, plus zero point one times the expected return of asset two, which is times five, which gives us a return of three point two. So we'd expect a return of 3.2 with a 90-10 mix between asset one and asset two. What about an 80-20 mix? Well, it'd be 0 0.8 times three plus 0 0.2 times five, which gives us a value of which gives us a value of about 3.4. Okay. Uh, the next one is a 70-40 mix, so it's 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 times three plus it's 0 0.3 times five, which gives us a value of which gives us a value of approximately 3.6 or 3.6% uh, return. Continuing in this fashion, so I've done these out already, uh, I have 3.8, okay? uh, I have 4.0, I end up with 4.2, I have 4.4, okay? I have 4.6, and I have 4.8 is the expected, the expected return. Okay? Uh, for each one of these particular possible portfolios, okay. Uh, for each one of these possible portfolios, we have now calculated their returns. Okay? Now, the variance is a little bit more more involved that particular calculation. Okay, but you can actually see from the formula, okay, that the variance. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just do one variance calculation. Okay, uh, depending on depending on the weights. Okay, so let's just do let's just do one variance calculation here. Okay. So actually, let me just move this up here. Okay. So let's say we choose a weight of, let's say 0 0.7, and let's say we choose a weight of, actually let's choose a different weight, let's say 0 0.4 and 0 0.6, okay? W1 is 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. Well then the VAR of the portfolio uh, is equal to W1 squared, which is 0 0.4 to be squared, times the variance of portfolio one or of asset one which is 1.5 okay plus it's w2 squared which is 0 0.6 to be squared times the variance of asset two which is times 4.2 okay plus and um, it's twice w1 so it's twice 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 okay times the correlation between a uh, asset one and asset two, the correlation between them is minus 0 0.7, okay, times the standard deviation of asset one times the standard deviation of asset two. Now, the standard deviation is actually the square root of the returns of, of, of the variances, so it's times the square root of 1.5 times the square root of, of 4.2, okay, and this actually this here yeah, gives us the variance, the variance for a portfolio that has a 40-60 mix between between asset asset one and asset two. So let's see what this works out at. So it's going to be 0 0.4 squared multiplied by 1.5. Okay. So you can actually see that there. Oops. Okay. That gives us this piece here. Plus inside brackets at 0 0.6 squared times 4.2. Okay, and um, plus what I'm going to have here, open bracket, is 2 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times negative 0 0.7, so times negative 0 0.7 uh, times the square root of 1.5, so times the square root of 1.5, okay, and I'm just going to shift this across one here, times the square root, okay, of 4.2. 
right, and shift that across again and close off the bracket, which gives me a value of 0 0.91. So that's approximately 0 0.91 is the expected return, sorry, the expected variance uh, for a 40 60 mix. Okay, so we have a 0 0.91 here. Okay. And we do this particular calculation for all of these particular portfolios where we know W1 and W2. Uh, we know what the variance of both portfolios is. And we also know what the correlation is. So we can actually calculate this out. And what we end up with, okay, what we end up with is a sequence of, of possible variances. So let me just write down what we have. And I've done this already. So we have 1.5 okay, when it's a 100% uh, split. When it's a 90-10 split, uh, we have 0 point, it's 0 0.994. Uh, then we have 0 0.57, it's 0 0.57, uh, then we have when it's a 70-30 split, so when it's a 70-30 split, it's 0 0.38, 0 0.38, uh, when it's a 60-40 split, so when it's a 60-40 split, we have it's 0 0.37, 0 0.37, uh, when it's a 50-50 split, we have it's 0 0.55, okay, uh, we have when it's a 40-60 split, uh, it's 0 0.91, uh, when it's a 30-70 split, uh, what we have it's it's 1.46. Uh, uh, when it's a 20-80 split, it's 2.19. 2.19. Uh